Hi, my name is Carl Winnie. I'm a master's student working in the Robotics Perception and Manipulation Laboratory at the University of Minnesota. For the past several months, I have been implementing a grasp learning algorithm based on the paper Sample Efficient Grasp Learning Using Equivariant Models. The algorithm starts with a depth observation that is a top-down view of two bins. The image is cropped to show only the bin the robot is supposed to pick from. Here is an example of the depth image of a bin with objects. The image is processed by a convolutional neural network to produce points of interest for grasping. An image patch around the best point of interest is processed by a second network, which outputs an orientation for the robot gripper. An important feature of these networks is that they have rotational equivariant constraints. Rotations of the input are linearly related to rotations of the output. This means that once the agent learns a successful grasp for an object, it will recognize similar grasps when the object is rotated. The equivariant constraints improve the sample efficiency of the training process. The robot attempts a grasp at the location and orientation given by the networks. If the robot is holding something above the bin after the grasp attempt, the agent receives a positive reward. If the robot is not holding anything, the agent receives no reward. After each grasp attempt, the experience is saved in a replay buffer. Augmented data is also saved to the replay buffer. The augmented data is generated by applying random translations and rotations to copies of the image from the grasp attempt. A reflection is also applied to half of these images. The action associated with the image is transformed in the same way. The algorithm randomly samples from the replay buffer after each experience and performs stochastic gradient descent to optimize the networks. The robot is given 15 attempts to move the objects in the bin, and then it switches to the other bin. It also switches if it detects the bin is empty. The success rate is calculated as the average reward over the last 50 grasp attempts. The GRASP function generalizes to a set of unseen test objects.